My heart goes out to the families. This is an unimaginable and tragedy. And this update just into our newsroom tonight about the high school sophomore accused of opening fire at school, killing three students. Good evening, I'm Maurice Dubois. And I'm Christine Johnson. Police say they arrested the 15-year-old suspect within minutes, and his gun had more bullets left to fire. The school shooting happened this afternoon about 30 miles north of Detroit in Oxford Township, Michigan. CBS 2's Corey James here now with those new details. Corey. And Marisa Christine, just tragic. We just learned moments ago from authorities that the gunman's father purchased the weapon, that pistol, four days ago. It was used in this tragic shooting that investigators say injured 11 people and killed three students. First responders raced to a Michigan high school Monday afternoon. <laughs> Where authorities say nearly a dozen people were shot. Tragically, we have a 14 year old female who is in critical condition with chest and neck gunshot wounds, and she's currently on a ven ventilator after surgery. People running, it's like, it's really scary. Those frantic moments seen from the sky as helicopters landed on the campus, and SWAT team members entered the building while worried parents waited nearby. It's very terrifying for me. Officials say the suspected gunman, a 15-year-old sophomore at the school, was arrested within a couple minutes by two deputies. A semi-automatic handgun that investigators say had seven rounds of ammunition was also recovered. And investigators tell us it's a weapon that was purchased days ago. When they took it from him, he had a loaded firearm and he was coming down the hall. That, again, I believe interrupted what potentially could have been seven more victims. Before the pandemic, the U.S. was averaging about two dozen school shootings per year. But this year, there have been 28, including this one. My heart goes out to the families enduring the unimaginable grief of losing a loved one. A deadly attack that has many questioning why. He's been picked on and stuff like this, so when a kid has been picked on and stuff, people's bullying him, you're going to get this. You're going to get this reaction. I think this is every parent's worst nightmare. And just to be clear, authorities have not identified a motive in this shooting and have not said if bullying was a factor. They also have said that a 16-year-old boy died in a patrol car on the way to the hospital. A 14-year-old girl, the youngest victim, along with a 17-year-old girl, were also killed. Again, a motive for the shooting is not known. Maurice Christine. Okay, Corey, thank you.